Lying in the heart of eastern canton Graubünden, Davos is the highest city in Europe and a Swiss winter destination that will quickly capture your heart. We spent four days and three nights in Davos Clusters and it was one of the loveliest getaways I've ever had. In this video, I have devised five perfect winter activities to do in Davos that will make you want to get your bags packing. We will ski on the powder snow at the slopes of Pastan and Jakobshorn, snowshoe through the forest, go on an evening horse carriage ride, try out the world's oldest winter sport, and go on a beautiful trekking experience with some gentle llama creatures. If you are new here, my name is Olivia. I make videos all about life and travels in Switzerland, hoping that you might just find your next holiday inspiration to this beautiful alpine country. <laughs> it's quite snowy today, which is good because last week there, it was so hot and there was no snow. So I'm super surprised to see that. Wow! Super beautiful right now. Davos is most renowned for hosting the annual World Economic Forum in January, where businesses, governments and civil society come together to discuss critical global issues. When we first arrived in Davos, the whole city was buzzing with preparations for this all-important event. There's a lot of changes in the buildings, staying for this micro restaurant. Now they change it to this name, The Loft, and also the Forum. I think it's going to be like a hangout place for the diplomats during the general meeting next week. And then if you see on the streets, there are tons of preparations going on and also people like the security guard and the army. So yeah, quite interesting. I don't think Davos is like this on a normal day. Corporate Davos with its grey buildings might lack the characteristic alpine charm of other ski resorts. However, once you step away from the city centre, that is where Davos beauty starts shining right through. Our accommodation for the week was at Alpine Inn. This hotel had used the time during the pandemic to good use and underwent a complete renovation. The result is a modern, cosy interior with light wooden touches, true to its name as a cosy Alpine Inn. The hotel is a short 2 bus stop distance away from Pasen and a further 10 minutes away to the Jakobshorn, making it well connected to the two local mountains for your winter activities. Davos Clusters has a vast winter sports arena made up of 6 ski areas, of which we visited two. Since I had just started out skiing not too long ago, I spent my first day hanging around on the beginner slopes beneath the Jakobshorn at Hogan. If, like me, it is your first time skiing or you're still a beginner, I highly recommend engaging a private ski instructor. I took two days of lessons with the Swiss Ski School in Davos. While not only is it safer on the slopes to have one-on-one -on -one and undivided attention, you also get to learn the foundations of skiing and to progress a lot more faster. We had a great lunch break at Yat's Hood. This place is super popular for the Apri ski. Since we were here on a weekday, it was relatively quiet. However, if you were to come on a weekend, this place is full of good music, good dancing, and also tons of glue wine. My second day, I felt slightly more confident and headed to Pasen, which is considered a classic mountain in Davos. What I like about skiing in Davos is that it has a good range of easy blue slopes at high altitudes. Having been stuck at the beginner slopes for so long, it was a dream come true for me to be skiing so high up in the mountains with majestic views of the Alps. Skiing the turn, try to close the skis a bit. We're going on our last round. Last round! I'm so tired! <laughs> the end of ski class. Today was really quite tiring. I was trying to learn my turns, but I don't think I did it that perfectly. I think I would still need a few more practices, but it was great like on, on Pasen. I think the mountains here, the slopes are really quite gentle and it's very suitable for beginners. And at the same time, because the mountains here, it's quite high, so you get to enjoy really nice views even though you're a beginner. So I definitely recommend coming here if you're a beginner and you're just trying out skiing. This is a really good place coming for experience. Do come. Now arrived in the village of Fosters and we're gonna do a very very special evening activity. We're gonna go on a house carriage ride around the village of Fosters. Let's go! 
This was dashing through the snow in the most literal sense. With the click clacking sounds of the horse hooves and the soft jingle bells in the air, we passed by beautiful scenes of alpine wooden houses, the pine trees and the snow white fields. As dusk began to fall, it started to snow and it got really cold, so be sure to wear your warm clothes and gloves so that you can stay comfortable inside the carriage. While the Davos Klosters region is one of the best places to ski in Switzerland, what few people know is that it is also a fantastic spot to practice snowshoeing. Tramping through unspoiled landscape on your snowshoes is a unique way to experience nature. You can enjoy the silence of the forest and the sound of your snowshoes in soft powdered snow. already with my equipment for snowshoeing and I think this is really a wonderful activity if you happen to be someone that doesn't know how to do other winter sports like skiing or snowboarding then this is perfect for you because you don't need any experience for this snowboard activity. So to hike on a snowshoe tour you need a pair of hiking poles. You also need to wear like steady boots and also that special equipment. I really forgot the name, I'll go find it. But it's essentially to help you get a wider surface area when you walk. Otherwise, if you were to walk through the snow with just your snow boots, you're gonna fall down. <laughs> taking a break now I really enjoyed this activity like it's not very tiring and you really get to see a very different part of nature that is just unspoiled there's nobody around just the mountains and yourself Another activity to try in Davos would be Bavarian curling which is also recognized as the world's oldest winter sport. Its origin dates all the way back to the 16th century when farmers and craftsmen would spend their long winter days sliding stones on ice. The objective of Bavarian curling is for teams to play the ice stock as close as possible to the house in 6, 8 or 10 rounds. While this might sound relatively simple, after a few rounds we quickly realized that it actually requires a lot of concentration concentration, fine motor skills, and team coordination. Ethan! now in a very little village called Sanois for a special activity which is llama trekking. This is really fun both for adults and children and here we are with the llamas and we're just going to go for a little walk around the village. This is my llama, he's called Bonito and something I learned is that when you're approaching a llama and try not to touch their eyes because it's quite scary for them so the way you should interact with them is just to stroke them on their necks and on their back and they will be calm and good. Feel 
like him. <laughs> Hungry, they are hungry. And that's all for my winter time in Davos. I really hope you enjoyed this video and let me know down in the comments below which was your favorite winter activity. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!